and welcome to Brock Talk. Brock Community Action has been offering hope and opportunity to Rutland and Bennington County residents for over 52 years. One way we are able to offer that hope and opportunity is to raise much needed food items through community events that fill local food shows. One such event is happening on Saturday, May 12th, the 26th annual Letter Carriers Food Drive. Donated food items will benefit the Brock Community Food Shelf, Rutland Community Cupboard, and the Salvation Army to feed local families in need. To share information about the event, I'm pleased to welcome to the show Chris Greeno from NALC number 495, the Post Office in Rutland, Caprice Hover, Executive Director of United Way of Rutland County, and Meg Hanna, Community Food Shelf Coordinator at Brock Community Action. Thanks so much for joining me, folks. Hello. Thanks for having Hi. us. Hey. Yes, thank so you. So the 26th annual, Chris, and we just were talking that you've been there for every single one of them. Yeah, it, it seems hard to believe that it's been going on that long, but it's really grown since the beginning, since the first uh, year that we did it. Um, it's the, nationally the 26th, uh, but our community has been doing it for 25. So, oh, okay. So, so we missed we one year in there One somewhere. year. They had a test uh, out west. They tested the idea, and then as soon as the you were able to join, we jumped on board. Wonderful. First year, yeah. And you were involved um, as the, uh, it was, um, who was the original? Kelly Socha Kelly was Socha. the original Boy, letter carrier that. that stepped forward and said, let's yes. do this. Uh, our community could use it. And we, he had no idea how to do the food drive or how to get it, you know, to pull it off. Mm -hmm. um, so he immediately reached out to the United Way. And it was, it's been a United Way partnership with the letter carriers from the beginning. Right. They mm. helped us connect with the food shelves, get it organized, um, and really plan the event so that it, we could get it rolling. Well, since you're on the road with uh, mail deliveries, it's <laughs> nice to have that kind of partnership <laughs> where someone can, can take nice. care of those, yes. those have pieces. Have professionals when you yeah. need them. Yeah. Yes. What did yeah. that first year look like for you? Oh, gosh. Uh, very on the day of the event, yeah. Now, compared to what we do now, it was very unorganized. We had no idea how much food <laughs> we'd get. Um, we had no idea how many volunteers we'd need. Right. Um, and we had very little foresight of what we would need to actually pull it off. To make it just, happen. Yeah, the right. physical materials. Right. Um, so we were just sorting it in the parking lot at the post office, yeah. and more and more food came in. And it was a really good event that year. We got a lot more than what we planned, but it was little compared to what we get now. Yeah. It was chaotic so, fun. It was, yeah. <laughs> right. But that's, that's, it seems like that every year, yeah. except it's organized yeah, chaos yeah. now. Yeah, it's more organized. Uh, it's very organized. But Caprice, now. why don't you uh, talk a little bit about the partnership this year with, uh, with the post office? Well, it's been great always. I mean, mm -hmm. I think that Chris goes above and beyond, but I also don't want to forget the fact that it's all the people out there in the community walking Absolutely. around that are doing a lot of hard work as well. So this year, I feel like it's been a pretty easy process mm -hmm. compared to I remember the first year as well. Uh, so it seems to go off without a hitch, um, just finalizing the details, getting the word out. And really, I, I think people... Uh, need to know it's critical to get these uh, food shelves supported for the summer because the kids are about to get out of school Correct. and this is a critical time to be able to get some food into their bellies. Right and I like that we've also added a, um, a barbecue to the event mm -hmm. so we can feed those <laughs> those letter carriers that come back with all this food in their trucks and it's extra it's yeah. extra work they're carrying heavy so, bags yeah. of food back to the truck and forth and it, trying a, to deliver mail at the same time it's a lot of extra work in the first year when we it wasn't we never thought about what it would take to do the event mm -hmm. we thought about how much our community would appreciate yeah. the event right and that's really what drove the kickoff of this whole thing now that we've been doing it it's been growing the focus is it, it had to turn to figuring out how to do this because mm -hmm. we are out there doing our regular scheduled jobs, delivering the mail um, and everything that we normally do. And on top of that, we're collecting these food donations and getting them, transporting them back and getting them sorted. So it takes a lot of volunteer work, um, volunteers from the community, but a lot of volunteers from the food shelves themselves, mm -hmm. um, United Way volunteers. And it's, it's, it's a great event for me to see how it's grown because it's not just a handful of people and some letter carriers that right. I work with. Right. 
it's a real community event. There's a lot of volunteers that every year come back um, and help Wonderful. and really pull their weight because it's physically demanding <laughs> well, to be sorting that. all that <laughs> yeah, food. Right, yeah. right. You know, the first hour, everybody's excited yeah. to get going. <laughs> and then by the end of the day, we're like, oh my goodness, <laughs> there's still more food here to sort out. And you need it's, a massage. Yeah, and you need yeah. Yeah. Right, that's a we'll Spa day. Um, but yeah, we even have a group of young men that come and they, they challenge each other to oh. see who can lift the most. So uh, that's always fun to have, have some yeah. of the young people around yeah. and Absolutely. kind of yeah. challenges us too. <laughs> <laughs> As we get older, it gets a little it tougher. It does, a little tougher. Yeah. But, um, so as one of the beneficiaries, Meg, yeah. uh, the Brock Community Food Shelf and uh, as well as the others, um, what do you see as some needs that we might have that people could donate? For specific items, mm -hmm. um, canned goods uh, are always very good. Um, raviolis, canned pastas, vegetables, mm -hmm. soups, variety of soups. Um, sauces are always handy as well. Peanut butters, jellies, really anything is very much appreciated mm -hmm. in, the, in the food shelf. We go through an awful lot of food every single day. Mm -hmm. um, we're serving about 35 families a day right now yeah. as an average, and we're just one of the three mm -hmm. that do that. So everybody, everybody's in need. The, all the businesses are in need. All the organizations that help support the community are in desperate um, need. Those shelves fill up every day. And, and they empty. Almost. And they <laughs> empty every yeah. day. Yeah. Yep, I, hundreds of pounds are picked up every day. And that hundreds. Was, that was something when I started the drive I didn't realize. When we collected... You know, it seemed like an unbelievable amount of food. Right, yeah. And then when I hear from the food shelves, when I started hearing how long that food lasts, because we really geared it toward feeding the kids. Yes. We knew right. that they were going to be out the of summer. school. So, and we thought, oh my gosh, all this food uh, will last forever. And then mm. you start to hear about how much the community utilizes these food yes. shelves and the need um, and the fact that even though we collect what seems to be an unbelievable amount of food, it just carries you know through the majority of the summer and, and it's not a year around no. oh, you no. did not stock the shelf no. for well, the year you, <laughs> and you that's why there's other community yeah. events that supplement that at different points yeah. of the year yeah. so uh this is one of the the bigger ones obviously and last year how much did we collect do you remember locally uh in central vermont what our branch covers we collected over sixty thousand pounds of wow. food but yeah. this the city um, has a different total, and we report that, you know, right. after the But it was, still, the it was mark. still 20 something thousand yes, pounds of yes. food. Yes, yeah. yes. That's a lot. Yeah. yeah. It, yeah. It's typically always over 20,000 pounds. So, yeah. um, and we did hit the million pound collected yeah, for I Central did. Vermont. That was, awesome. uh, that was a huge milestone. I never, ever thought that we would be doing this this long or that we would ever collect that amount of food. Pounds. And it was, it's, quite a achievement for, yes, it is. It's a great for achievement, the volunteers yeah. and for the letter carriers because I'm not the only one that's been working there this whole time. There's right. <laughs> people there, a handful yeah. of us have been for the whole um, 25 years and some of the uh, participants and volunteers in the community have been there mm -hmm. the whole time and they I come see out them every year. year. Yeah, every year. Yeah. So it's, it's a fun event for me. I get to see people and connect, reconnect with them. And, and that's great. You know, that's wonderful to know that uh, the community has supported this so, so well over all these years. And, and every year, you know, it's great now that you have the colored bags that you yeah. give out. You look down a street and you see all the mailboxes yeah. with the bags out there. It's, a, it's quite a sight yeah. on that day. And um, I know we, we, we were able to catch some pictures of, of that particular thing last year. And it really is impressive when you know that everybody on a street supported that event. You yeah. know, and just need the mail carrier to get there and, and uh, collect the big bags. Yeah. So. And one of the stories which I hear a lot um, is people who come up to me on the day of the event and they'll tell me, um, I utilized a food shelf a few years ago. I was going through something. I, our family needed it. So I'm here to give the little back. And now I know Wonderful. the importance of the food shelf. And it's, it's really... Uh, you know, rewarding when, you know, as letter carriers, we work in the community, we see everybody every mm -hmm. day, um, and we know that there's need in the community, but then to hear the people who volunteer and, and really come out to support the drive say, hey, I used the food shelf too, I needed it, it, they got me through a tough time, and 
I'm here to get back. And Giving it's, back. It's really, it's a great event. It is. It it's is. a great community, you, too. It really yeah. is. Yeah. You <laughs> see the people in the community that you serve. The community comes through yeah. every time. Yeah. yeah. So. And um, Caprice, what do, we, uh, what do you think we're looking for in terms of volunteers this year? Um, I, I think the reality is is that we want volunteers throughout the day. I Correct. think the morning, like Chris is saying, there's a lot of people. We're all energized towards the you know one to three o'clock time. <laughs> that would be if, if you got some time in the afternoon to come visit. That would be great mm -hmm. um, because it's it's a lot of work for everybody. Right. So the more the merrier, and it makes it a lot of fun. Um, and like I said, from from the time I was first doing this to now, it is it it, it runs like clockwork. I mean, mm -hmm. and and we really it's really. United Way helps like get the information out there, do that thing. Right. But it really is Chris and his gang that do the bulk of the work. Absolutely. And you know, and and your conversation, your comment about, you know, meeting people who are giving back. You know, I mean, that's been real for for everything I've done in my career so far. This community um, always yeah. does recognize it can happen to any one of us. Correct. Can be in the same exact situation, yeah. needing a food shelf. So. When you're thinking about it, um, you know, throwing out the cans, we do obviously non-perishable would be right. preferable. <laughs> non-glass, yeah. non-glass yeah. would be awesome. Yeah. Um, those are some of the critical things, and you know, that that is key. And and I think the more that we can get volunteers to understand and people in the community to understand that it is across the board in our communities. Um, this isn't anything that's just a Rutland, Vermont issue. This is no. a countrywide issue. There's yes. food insecurity yeah. in our world, and so that these kinds of events are critical to in, to for United Way to keep supporting. That's great. That's great. And and we honored actually. Mm -hmm. um, Chris. I was hoping you'd oh. mention that. And uh, so yeah. United Way does a award every year, and um, we hadn't uh, we hadn't done a business before in this way, and it was great to be able to benefit the food shelves and recognize Chris and his gang uh, for the 25 years of right. work that they put into this. Right. Yeah. And, and very proud of that. Thank Congratulations. You. Yeah. <laughs> we, as letter carriers, are very proud of that, and it was really nice to be, um, and we do it to serve the community. It was really nice to, from our peers, to be recognized, mm -hmm. you know, just to say thanks for the work that we do, have done. So it meant it, a lot to us. It did, and I know it was an emotional night. It so was it's, an it's emotional very, night. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And, and you know what, that was great because that's sincere. You were, you were you know, being totally sincere with the, the audience, and, and uh, I, I appreciate seeing that yeah. from someone who gets an award because it meant something to you. Yeah, I had a, a little thank you speech all planned <laughs> out, and when I got up to, it, it just, <laughs> it, it was very emotional, the, the, you know, the presentation of the award and what it meant. And, mm -hmm. It all started running through my head, and it really got to me, and the, the emotions showed that night. Yeah, so. but you got your words out. That was okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was hey, okay. Passion is a good thing. That's yeah. right. This community That's right. has done. I mean, I I can't even list the amount of times that the community comes together, and we do need to thank them mm -hmm. as much as we possibly can thank because you. without <laughs> them, it doesn't happen. That's right. Yeah. You know? That's right. But because if, it, if nope, it wasn't something that we were passionate about, I probably wouldn't still be here organizing it. I wouldn't yes. have given it the amount of attention that I have. Mm -hmm. um, so it is an event that, that letter carriers are passionate about and helping the people in our community that we serve is important to us. Um, we recognize that. So That's great. So at our food shelf, Meg, the community food shelf at Brock, um, the, uh, I know that I go through the waiting room uh, you know, yes. at, several times a day yes. and it's always busy in the morning. It's busy. Yeah. And you've created a different environment than just having folks walk yeah. in and get food. You want to talk right. a little bit about that? Um, well, we, we've kind of changed our layout and our format a little bit. You guys should come check it out um, to be more of a, a market or, or a store. So we've, we've laid out the interior. We try to offer enough food to get through a week is what we're shooting for. It, right, so it helps when the shelves are full, mm -hmm. so thank you. <laughs> um, so we shoot for a week. We have a nice hospitality station when people are, are seated and waiting because nobody wants to shop hungry. So we try and have nice snacks and, and beverages for people while they're waiting and, mm -hmm. and, um, and recognize that, that food's a really basic need and that anything we can do to help, and that's exactly what we're there for. Mm -hmm. uh, it, there's no, no shame at all right. in coming that we right we are there to help everybody is putting effort in everybody is donating for that reason they want to help 
We all need help at some point, and, and we're just there, there to help. We, we do applications for things. We help people get their three square applications right. done if they need it. So if anybody needs it, come see us. That's right. Um, we can help um, get those in because then you have the flexibility to go to the grocery store as well. So there's great programs here in Vermont for that. And, and the then Farmers Food Center too. Right? And correct. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yep, and that'll be starting soon too. Soon. And then there's us. So if you if you make use of, of us, of the community cupboard, of the Salvation Army, um, we can really help people. Yeah, there, use there their is dollars no shame. in I other like ways. That you said that. You know, there's there's not, absolutely right. There's yeah. no judgment. There's no, no. It's it's food. Right. Yeah. If you're food hungry, is good. You come see us. Come That's see right. us. <laughs> yeah. And we do have. Uh, um, is we do the feed either, the freezer program yeah. too. So we we make meals. The restaurants helped out when we were down with That's our right. kitchen in between, so we had generous donors providing meals as well. So we have things in the afternoon during non-food shelf hours. Um, we have emergency boxes during non-food shelf hours to get um, people through till the next day. Mm -hmm. Lots of stuff in the lobby too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. yes. Really, I'm breads sure. and things, all oh, kinds yeah. of all kinds of things available for for folks. So, um, yeah, I'm 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 excited to see it. I'm normally on the other end. Where, where you're putting your stuff out for yeah, people right. to, to pick up. So I've been there about four months now, so I, the stuff of us happened just after. Yes, so, <laughs> that was your first introduction. So, like, ah, so now I know what to expect. Yes, exactly. It's, it's fabulous seeing those shelves just over full and things and wondering where to put things and how are we gonna keep it all around and yeah. And on the days when you worry, because there's always the day you worry. The shelves are empty. Mm -hmm. What are we gonna do the end right. of the day, right. you know? me put a little prayer up there and and there's food the next day like somehow it always comes through right yeah the right. community's fantastic that's great Got it out yeah that's wonderful yeah and and it's not i just wanted to mention to folks if in case you don't know that our um community food shelf as well as the others yeah. um not only gets the canned products from the food right. drives, but we get donations of meats and fresh vegetables right. and fruits and sometimes milk and all eggs that. and all yep. the fun things. Sandwiches, now. meals yeah. from the, the grocery stores. Yep. Yeah. So, you know, people yeah. can get a meal. Oh, absolutely. You know, they can come in and get a meal yes. for their family yeah. and uh, go home. And advice and, on how to put it together. That's so, true. That's we do. true. You're we doing have, the education we have, Yeah, we have great volunteers. Right. Right. And without the volunteers, none of it works. So they they very much will say. Again, <laughs> volunteers yeah, right. make it happen. <laughs> and they'll say, you know, oh, I use this to do this, or this is how I use these beans, or, you know. It's actually this. Volunteer Appreciation Month this month. That's so. true. Excellent. That's true. April so is. It's a good time to be right. talking about volunteers yeah, and what they right. do for us. It, it just, it wouldn't work without it. Yeah. yeah. Right? It wouldn't work. No. So and it's, a, it's a great so, thing, and and we have the secondary one in Bennington, right? As well, right? We have an, an, gonna... an, right another food shelf kind of under my, under my wing, um, between the, the right. two, and we started one at Jen's Motel. That's right, as yeah. well. So for the, the, for folks the residents, staying there, yep. That's yep. Uh, you know some expansion of our right. services that we had before. Right. So because there's it's, such a need, so yeah. we're trying to. Well, <laughs> and what I found out, which I didn't realize, um, it, which I learned was that. When people have that need, there's many different reasons why people find themselves right. in need and, and utilizing the food shelf. But um, Brock ha helps them if there's other ways in their life that they could be used uh, or could be utilized. Brock, yes. you know, it's not just come on in, we'll get you some food to get you through. That they talk to them and figure out what's going on, and yes. maybe there's some other aspects. In their yeah, life, they, they could have, have an electric bill that they're worried about, or, or fuel, fuel assistance, or, and, right? And, and that we was have that all in. So house. important that it encompasses so much more than just just the food shelf. Right, you, right. you really care about right. what's going on and right. helping and them get through that moment. Lift people up. I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah, try exactly. to try and show them a way a way forward. Because sometimes we all just need a. You're so bogged down <laughs> in your right. life, right? Yeah. Yeah. It is. It, 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 so it is. Everybody, yeah. that yeah. you need the perspective of That's somebody right. else to say, hey, you know, really just give this a go. And, yeah, it's okay. Yeah. You know, and yeah. and there's other things we can help you with. Yeah. And sometimes that just helps the person just get through the day. And that's a very important piece that we're we're doing too. Yeah. So being well, new to the organization, be... it's a good organization. Yeah. Yeah. It, it really is. It, it, do, is. it does far more than I ever Realized I, I didn't what realize, it, and the more I know, the yeah. more I learn. It's it really is the well weatherization. Yeah. Every it, yeah. it's starting businesses. It, it's really it's beyond um, 
the justice. The, it, mm -hmm. It's beyond what, what you would think an organization did yeah. mm -hmm. that you really just had no idea. You knew what you were giving food for. You know what you're donating for. You, but, yeah. But there's much more to it. There is. So, so and it volunteer support. And, and everybody, the community, fantastic, the community, really. Yeah. We couldn't put the food on our shelves alone. Them. Right. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. So the event is Saturday, May 12th. Uh, we will have shifts, I believe, from 11 to 1, 1 to 3, and 3 to 5 for volunteers to sign up. So if anyone's interested, you can contact any one of us. Uh, well, maybe not Chris. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> don't call Chris. Don't call Chris. Um, but uh, Caprice, you can call me. Yeah, Caprice would be happy to take your name and, and figure out a shift That's to put right. you in. And, um, you know, basically we have folks come and we could have you do anything. We could have you cooking at the barbecue, sorting food, putting it on the trucks uh, for the food shelves, and, um, and even going back to the organizations and unloading. Uh, so there's a little bit of everything that someone can do. Um, that's the beauty of this project. It's not just one thing, you know, yeah. so. And you don't need a commitment for the whole day. Right, most, that's why Most we... volunteers come down and help out for an hour, maybe yep. two. Yep. Um, and, and you know what, that's beautiful. It, if they it, can give yeah. an hour, that's great. <laughs> that that's is great, great. yeah. So, um, and this year, uh, all of us will be identified that are participating in it with some uh, t-shirts and it'll be easier for, you know, anybody coming around that asks questions to find the right person um, <laughs> instead of running around trying to figure it out. And yeah. uh, I know that, as always, it's a fantastic event and we, um, we're looking forward to it. I know it's yeah. uh, always a great day and it's rain or shine. Yeah. Uh, that that's is the very thing. true. No rain. Yeah. Not, no, I know, but it is a rain or yeah, shine. It does yeah. happen sometimes. Yeah. Um, I think we even had snow one time. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, <laughs> Last year we just made it through. It was supposed uh, to rain all yes, day. Yes, yes, that's right. It ended up being we sunny most that's of the day. Right. And then at the very end as we're breaking down, it started, it started to rain. Yeah, that's right. So. Oh, I forgot yeah. about that. Yeah. <laughs> How many volunteers so. generally show up for this event? Uh, it it's hard for me to count on this on site we have a couple of dozen it seems like at all mm -hmm. times yeah. but there's also volunteers back at each agency yeah. and then there's some running out on the road to unload carriers and so there's it seems just like there's give, always a couple dozen yeah, yeah just to give an idea I think we we signed up last year um, maybe 15 to 18 yeah. but they came at different right. intervals because yeah. you don't want everybody there no, at 11, no, no. you know because that that does get more confusing um, you'd rather spread it out through the day and um, that allows us to to yeah. give an assignment too, yeah. not just say everybody go sort food because yeah. there's too many right. <laughs> you yeah. know you don't want to do that but um, if you come, we're going to find something for you to do. That's that's the other uh, beauty of this. We weren't going to say go home. No, um, no, no. Never would do that. So um, I know that uh, when we're done with this, everybody is exhausted, like you said. <laughs> and, uh, and, and you end up, it seems, always calling and saying we had some that we got after the yeah. event. Yeah. Um, so it seems like there's always that call to go back and get a little more. <laughs> so that's that's always a plus, too. Yeah, it's What's, always nice to see, um, because logistically, some, some of the of smaller the trucks, communities yes. outside of Rutland, the food, one of the, the key aspects of this drive is the food stays in the closest community. Correct. So um, <clears throat> the communities that have the food shelves, we try to keep the food as right. close to the community that it was donated in. Yeah. Um, so there are some small communities that don't have a food shelf, and those are shipped in, so we'll right. get those at the end. Of, our carriers will yeah. have already brought in the food, split it up, but then uh, uh, if there's another smaller community that doesn't have a food shelf and we are the closest community, it'll come to us. That's and, wonderful. And so we like, always give a call to the food shelves to... Yeah. Um, go the next morning. Yeah. Go get it out of here. Get a few more. <laughs> if we can't, we, right. Yeah, you Logistically, can't do we, can't we are not a, we're right. not a food shelf, so <laughs> we, need to, we need to get that moved off of our box. Yeah, so. absolutely. And I know that Fairhaven Concerned is, is involved in this project Correct, too, yeah. so they have one of their own you know drives awesome. there yeah. and it goes right to uh, yeah. uh ashley and the uh, food shelf there at fairhaven concern what are the other ones locally that that may get it um, uh, like west rutland do they get a piece do they do one uh it's, well each each town uh mm -hmm. if a food shelf who is seeing this program is saying hey we would like to get the food from our community 
I would suggest that you contact your local postmaster. Okay, that's what I was going to ask next. How, how do they do it? Yeah, they <laughs> should contact their local postmaster um, because almost all communities in central Vermont, I make sure that they participate mm -hmm. um, by getting postcards and bags and their carriers okay. participate by picking it up. But if the um, if there is a food shelter that's starting or one that's not receiving the food, then um, they can contact the local postmaster and the local postmaster will facilitate with me to make sure that um, the food is staying there in that community. Oh, okay. But, um, okay, well, that's good advice then. Let's, uh, you know, let's raise more food and, I, and get I those postmasters that, yeah, on board. Yeah, I know that most communities, um, of the larger communities, Springfield, Vermont, has its own, mm -hmm. uh, own food shelf. Um, and in those, most of the communities have the carriers have their own little system in that post office of how they drop it off. But yeah, I would imagine Rutland's probably one of the bigger, Rutland bigger is, ones. <laughs> Rutland is one of the bigger ones. And uh, we really needed to organize and streamline so that we could just physically get it all sorted right. by the end of the day. Right. Um, and I, yeah. I just have to continually say thank you to the volunteers <laughs> yes. who help out yeah. because like I say, I show up with the best intentions and I'm all ready to go, but by four o'clock, just lugging, you know, 40, 30 pound buckets all day, uh, unloading trucks, putting well, them on the you, scale, you loading them. You deal with in. logistics. Yeah. You, we'll, we'll get the volunteers you for you, Chris. Yeah. 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 So. What's the goal this year? Um, anytime, I used to try to set number pound goals, mm -hmm. um, but to be honest, the goal for me is just seeing that the food shelves are full. When when I get a report right. back that the the food shelves in Rutland County filled their shelves and they're able to serve people, that's my goal. I'm happy when we go over twenty thousand pounds because I know that that right. met the needs. Yeah. Um, so that's well said. That's 20, why you got the award. 20, <laughs> I used to think when we started, no, we it, was, really, it was like yeah. a 9,000 yeah. the first yeah. year, 10,000 yeah. something. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, so next year, let's try to get 12 because right. the like need was yourself. there. And, we're, right. and then yeah. it, it became, we've been doing it so long, and it became such a community event. And I hear more and more and learn more and more about the food shelves. And the need really isn't a, a number of pounds. The need is... Food. Hearing from you guys yes. about how much you're serving, how, yes. what the need is that year, and what it's been the, the last year, and um, just knowing that we can help, and that, and that's one thing that the food shelves have all made it clear to me is how much this food drive means to them, absolutely, and how how much how many more families they're able to serve because yeah. of the food drive, and absolutely. when they yeah. when they've never come to me and said we need 5,000 pounds or 10,000 no, pounds. They've no. always said, this is how many we're serving. Yeah. And we we really need to keep being able to meet the needs of the community. Yes. So that's really what it's turned into for me. It's less about the pound and more about if we ha if the need is there, let's do what we can to meet the need. Right. And if the need goes down, which I would love to hear, but yeah. it just doesn't seem no. to be the thing right now. No. Um, well, I have to say that I know that we've increased. Our numbers, yeah. Yeah. I can and, tell and you it's that. across the board. Yeah. Well, and it'll yeah. be great to get with the United Way at work the way we're doing it, to be able to actually go and visit each of you food chefs yes. so that the community can actually see yeah. where their food That's is going. Right. And, That's right. Um, Chris is graciously going to set up some banners next uh, Tuesday so that you'll see who the shelves are. And literally, we are going to physically take you into the community. And shelves. I think we're that's looking forward to that. Really yeah, great it'll show. be great to see your new yeah. Yeah. Yes. Really good. Yeah, we're really looking excited. forward to it. Yeah. Well, I, you know, again, May 12th, Saturday, call if you want to volunteer. We're going to be uh, waiting for you and ready for you. And I really thank you guys for coming on the show and talking about this fantastic event, 26th Annual Letter Carriers Food Drive at NA. LC. LC. Yeah. I knew I was going to do that. Number 495 at the Rutland Post Office. Yeah. Okay. Thanks Great. so much for Thank watching. You. And we appreciate it.